wannabes that ha that think they have clout on Instagram, but they don't get no career out of it. And then you got people like me and my brother where we talented and we actually have a career. Look how we live. Y'all, it's Tavion Johnson back with another motherfucking video. And today we're getting right into this deep, 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 dark secrets of the Island Boys. You guys already know um, if you click my video. So I'm gonna just going to get right into it. So the Island Boys added me to their live. You know what I mean? It was lit. We are talking. I showed them my Island Boys art. You feel me? I showed them what's up. You know, I'm, I'm really out here. I'm really doing this art shit. I'm really trying to go viral with it. You feel me? And, um, basically, basically, you know, um, the Island Boys just hated on me, bro. They, you know, wouldn't reply to my DM, wouldn't like my post, wouldn't comment on my post. And that's okay, you know what I mean? They don't comment on anybody's posts and they don't reply to any DMs. So, I'm like, whatever, you know what I mean? At least they added me to their live and it was lit. I got a little couple followers. A lot of the Island Boys fans fuck with me. They start joining my lives because I'm cool. I'm, you know what I mean? I'm about this clout shit. I'm about clout chasing. You know what I mean? I got the bitches fucking DMing me. I got my little thing going, you know? And I see, all of a sudden I see this fan talking shit about the Island Boys scamming them um, seven hundred dollars or something stupid like that. You feel me? I was like, damn, this shit's kind of crazy, bro. But you know what I mean? The Island Boys showed me love. They added me to their lives, so I'm like, yo, let me tell the Island Boys, go clear this business up. This is unsettled business. Go fix your business. Go give the man his money back, or you know what I mean? Apologize and give him some promo. You know what I mean? Um. Anyways, I'm talking with the manager. And all of a sudden, the manager says, let me read this fucking DMs out. This thing, this shit is fucking disgusting, TBH. To be fucking H, this shit is disgusting. He says, LMAO, it was $700. I got his ass, broke boy. So, basically, I have proof of him admitting that he stole $700 from somebody online. This is fucked up, bro. And this is not right, dude. Again, us us fans, we love your music, bro. We love your tattoos. We love your hair. We love your vibes. You feel me? But when you're going around stealing money from us, and this is not even me, but I'm, I'm speaking on behalf of this fan. You're stealing money from this fan, and you've got your manager saying, broke boy, I got his ass laughing and shit. You feel me? This is disgusting, Island Boys. To treat your fans so low, to not care about your fans to this ex fucking stamp, dude. It's disgusting. And the reason why I'm getting on this shit today, the reason why I'm getting on this shit today is because, um, basically, um, all of a sudden I seen a video that, uh, who, which one of these fucking, which one of these pussy little bitches fucking filmed this video? Let me see. I gotta go look. I don't even know which one of these pussies filmed the video. Um, Kodiak Red. Kodiak Red has been hating on me, bro. He's been hating because he sees me in the comments. I'm not fucking with that shit, bro. I'm not fucking with you scamming your fans. I'm not fucking with you disrespecting me. And the way I got disrespected is Poker was doing a giveaway. I guess his name is Poker the Jew. You know what I mean? That's his uh, Instagram name. So I was like, all right, let me take part in this giveaway, bro. Let me take part in this giveaway, you know? Let me let me do my thing. Let me take part in it, you know? Who knows? I might win. And even even fuck the giveaway. I'm just a fan of poker. He's, an, he's, an, he's being nice to me. And um, I'm a fan of Island Boys. You feel me? I'm a fan of both. So let me just comment and get be in the giveaway. So um, I commented. He said, you won the $50. So I was like, cool. Um, can you send it to my GoFundMe? Because I'm fighting Lyme disease. It's like cancer. And I... I really need some money for my medication, you know, I'm, I'm really suffering, can you just send the $50 to my, uh, to my GoFundMe? Dude just ignores me, keeps ignoring me, keeps ignoring me, I'm like, alright, dude. We don't have cash app in Canada, again, I, I fucking hate living in Canada, but it is what it is, but, you know what I mean, fuck, this COVID shit's fucked up, I'm stuck here for now. But anyways, um, so we don't have cash app, so he can't send me the cash app, the $50. So I'm like, bro, just post me on your story, bro. Post my Island Boys art on your story and give me some promo. That's, you know what I mean? The same as 
the fifty dollars, in my opinion, you know, me support me, you know, even though the dude's a bum and has nobody viewing his story, so it didn't even fucking help me. I just be nice and share it, you know what I mean? Um. So, anyways, he posted. It. I'm I'm happy all night. You know, I'm happy the next day. At least someone's supporting me. And um, I go and look. This little snake bitch goes and deletes the story off of his page. Keeps all these other people's promotions, but deletes mine. And I'm like, bro. You think I'm fucking stupid, bro? You keep the poker, the Jew, the manager. You're gonna keep everybody's story up, but you're gonna delete mine on some hater shit, bro? Nah, fuck you, nigga. You a bitch, bro. You a fucking little bitch, bro, for doing that shit. And you think I'm not gonna see that, bro? Again, I could have just played it off and ignored it, and still tried to send the island boys a painting. But to be honest, I don't even fucking trust them, bro. This this poker, the Jew dude is a scammer, scamming other people. You know what I mean? You gotta put two into my spidey, my spidey, my nigga senses were tingling. This nigga's a scammer. If I send them any merch, if I send them a hoodie, I send them a painting, they're gonna steal it and block me or just not give a fuck. Not worth it, bro. So you know what? I said, fuck these island boys. These niggas are haters. Poker the Jew's a fucking hater. And the fact that the island boys can't even stand up for me, one of their supporters, and say, yo, Poker, you went too far, bro. You're making fun of fans. You're just taking money from them. Along with taking money from them, you're doing rude shit like what he did to me. Deleting shit off their story, lying and, and doing fake snaky shit, bro. You know what I mean? That's just fucking stupid. And then, that's why I've been hating on them. Or not hating, talking shit, but their music's ass. I'm gonna be real. Their music is fucking dog shit. You know what I mean? They tried to fucking rap and it's all offbeat. Whoever said put that new fucking Island Boy shit on? That shit is fucking ass. Nobody plays Island Boy's songs, bro. Anyway, this is what this nigga said. I'm gonna show, put, put the video at the end or at the beginning. But this is what the Island Boys had to say about me. Think they have clout on Instagram. Think they have clout on Instagram. And then you got people like me and my brother where we talented and we actually have a career. Talented. And then you got career. What the fuck? Think they have clout on Instagram. I do have clout. Get no career out of it. And I do have a career. Who the fuck are you to tell me I don't have a career, nigga? And we actually have a career. Look how we live. The fuck, who the fuck you gonna tell me I don't have a career, bruh? Bitch ass niggas, bruh. And that, that, oh, we're talented. Nigga, you're not fucking talented. You made a dog shit fucking Island Boys freestyle that you didn't even fucking, it wasn't even a fucking song. That's how stupid you are, and that's how much you don't give a fuck about your music. You're just a clout freestyle for Instagram. Again, I saw Academics post it. Me and Academics are, are fucking support each other, bro. Academics knows about me. Academics see my shit. Academic knows my shit, bro. He knows I'm next up. Anyways, so I seen Academics post these fools, and they and they didn't even have a song, bro. It was a freestyle, dude, in the pool. So the, someone, they had to get someone to add a beat to it and, and do this and do that, and, it, and they made a decent song. To be honest, it's ass, bro. It's fucking ass, bro. I will never play that shit with a bitch around me. I will never play that shit at a party. I will never play that shit on my speaker. I will never play that shit in my car, bro. You feel me? That shit is fucking terrible music, dude. And it's a fucking meme. They blew up from a meme. Again, there's a reason why Lil Nas X's Old Town Road memes blew up and he kept making bangers. You're, you just dropped the song? And it was so offbeat, it was fucking embarrassing. If you drop that shit, it's fucking embarrassing. And you know what? I'm saying this as a fan, bro. I'm saying this as a fucking fan, bro. Stop rapping, bro. The shit that you posted on your Instagram is fucking embarrassing, dog. It's fucking embarrassing, dude. You're offbeat. It sounds like fucking ass. You don't know how to fucking rhyme words. It's fucking terrible. I can make a fucking better rap song than that shit, bro. And you guys are considered rappers with face tattoos, bro. Again, do you, what I told someone else. Do YouTube, do something else, bro. Rap is not fucking for you, bro. You cannot make a decent song to save your fucking life. This shit's ass, bro. You fell off. You had your two seconds of fame with Island Boys. It's done now. It's done now. And you want to disrespect me, nigga? Shut the fuck up. You guys are not fucking talented. And you want to know why I know you're not fucking talented? Because I'm just talking to another artist who did an Island Boys painting for the Island Boys. Island Boys think they're too famous to comment or like any of fans' posts. Or even a reply to a DM. Again, I've talked to fucking big people, bro. Who the fuck are you guys, bro? Like, I talk to niggas like Quando Rondo, like with 3 mil, you know what I mean? I talk to some big niggas, bro. And they don't act like that, bro. They don't act, they don't do that stupid shit, bro. Act like you're too famous to reply and to support a fan who made a painting for you, bro. You feel me? And they agree too, bro. You know, like this one dude, I saw him do a digital painting. And like my art's a little bit quicker, but it still takes some time and it takes some thought and it's a, it's raw motion. But this dude's digital painting took 
hours, bro. Hours and hours and hours of him sketching this Island Boys painting out. Like, it's crazy, dude. Hours. Like, this dude, kid is so fucking talented. I even messaged him and said, yo, the Island Boys painting is dope, bro. I'm so sorry that the Island Boys couldn't even show you a fucking like or a fucking comment after you spent hours fucking drawing that for them, bro. Again, selfish pieces of shit, bro. And this is why you're going to lose all your fans. And this is why no one's going to fuck with you or do any more business with y'all. Because y'all snakes, bro. Scamming, bro. And if any of my fucking supporters see this shit, bro, them niggas is fucking scamming. Don't get scammed, bro. They wanted me to send them a painting and some clothing, bro. I said, no, nigga, you're not scamming me, bro. My nigga senses were tingling, bro. And the fact that y'all gonna make a video on Instagram calling me out, bro. Y'all niggas are gay, bro. Again, there's fucking screenshots of fucking the fans saying, bro, are you gay? Because y'all was on fucking live doing each other's fucking nails. Poker the Jew was hugging you like a fucking dyke, bro. Like a little Nas X fucking pussy ass little y'all fuck each other before you go to bed. Y'all niggas gay, bro. Y'all niggas fucking gay, bro. Don't come at me, nigga. I will end your fucking career, nigga. I don't give a fuck, bro. I expose people for a living, bro. You don't want this shit, bro. You do not want this smoke, nigga. And I'ma end that there, bro. Fuck the Island Boys. Fuck the Island Boys. Fuck the Island Boys. They wish they were me. They wish they could paint like me, nigga. New merch dropping soon, nigga. Fuck the Island Boys. I'm gonna end that there. Anyone, don't judge him. Don't judge me because I got my little pinky. Don't judge him. He wants his man painting. Don't do it. Don't judge him. He wants it painted. What can I say? Oh.